Hi, my name is Trey Anthony and you are watching eBoss Canada. I feel it's really, that's a, a really challenging question for me because it's kind of like asking a mother what's her favorite child. Um, because at different points I never thought I would be more proud of a project such as the kink in my hair because of the great success that it had and was able to give me for so many years. But now I'm, I'm working on my new project when black mothers don't say I love you and it's kind of like a rebirth and having a second child and a second baby to take care of. And I love it just as much and with as much passion. And I learned a lot from the first baby, which was the kink in my hair, right? So it's hard for me to decide which one is my best and the one that I'm most proud of because I think each one has provided me such different opportunities and different learning experiences. Um, so what I can say, what, the, what I'm most proud of is just being able to do work that really speaks to black women and give us a voice and give us a stage and give us authentic stories to be proud of. You need to trust your gut. There's a lot of times, um, and that was a big learning lesson for me, where I collaborated with people because A, I thought maybe they had more prestige or more visibility than myself, or B, they were putting in money and that I thought I needed. And my gut told me these weren't the right people and I didn't listen to it for whatever reason, for those things. And it was a nightmare. And so now with every decision I make, I always say regardless if there was money involved, regardless if this person has quote unquote a big name, would you choose to be friends with that person? Would you choose to work for free with that person? And if the answer is even remarkably like not, not a yes, then I don't do it anymore. It's not worth the time, it's not worth the energy, it's not worth the pain to do that. And that took a long time for me to learn. Way too many hours, way too many frustrations. Um, and so it was something that now I just go by my gut. From the first time I meet you, if my gut says this isn't right, I don't go past that. I listen to my gut. And that was a really valuable lesson for me. And I think it's something too around turning 40, you trust yourself more. So I, I love that about myself. 40 made me believe that I know what I know. My biggest mentor right now has been Janet Sears, um, playwright, director, producer. I, I love her. Um, she's so graceful. Um, she's so giving with information. She's been mentoring me through this process of directing um, When Black Mothers Don't Say I Love You. And what I really love about her is I brought Janet on to direct this piece for me and she directed the workshop and then right in the middle of the workshop she turned around to me and she said, why are you not directing this yourself? And she said, you know this work, you know enough now to be able to direct your own work. Why do you not trust that you could do that? And I was like, no, 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 I need you, I need you. And, and I think it's such a wonderful grace when another woman can empower another woman. And she said, trust that you know your work. And she says, I will be available to you, for you to talk to, to go through the process. But she goes, you need to direct. We need more female directors. And she said, you know this work, it comes from you. And that was a really wonderful lesson for me to remember that how do you empower other women? Other women who don't feel they have the confidence and be able to give them the courage to do what they need to do. And I've watched Janet, how she moves through the world, how she empowers other women. And the other thing that I love watching about her is how she gracefully says no. There's no other thing that falls behind it. You're like, Janet, do you wanna do this? No, and that's that. And I thought that was something as a woman I needed to learn because I used to go, no, because I got to do this, I got to do that, blah, 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 blah. and I had all of these excuses because I wanted to be liked instead of just saying no. And now I do that. And I learned that from her, how to just say no. And that's it. And so um, I'm hoping that I can be that to other women because she is just so wonderful in the way she's able to empower women and um, I, I just really admire her. Um, I just started a playwright residency in Atlanta at Horizon Theatre 
and I'm working with them on a new project called The Love Shack, which looks at older women and younger women, the messaging we receive around love. And so I'm interviewing a lot of women on what was your biggest love story, what was your biggest love lesson, what was just your biggest love regret. And it's um, older women talking to their 20-something younger self. And so it's an intergenerational piece, which I'm really excited about. So we have young actresses playing um, older actresses and younger actresses playing themselves and so it's, it's, it's a really exciting piece and it's going to be my first work that I'm developing in America so I'm excited about that yeah